What's up, everybody? Dre back at it again with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about Call of Duty Vanguard. So everybody's talking about it, so I thought I'd talk about it. You know, I'll just follow the crowd. Because content, right? Gotta get that juicy, sweet content. Gotta suck that fat dick. So I can get back in YouTube's good graces. Nah, but for real though, I'm not actually someone who plays a whole lot of Call of Duty, so it's kind of interesting for me to actually cover this. Like, the last time that I actually tried to play a Call of Duty, I think was during Ghost, and after Ghost, I like just put down Call of Duty and said, screw that. And I didn't come back to the Call of Duty series until about Modern Warfare 2019. That's when I thought Call of Duty was better. I mean, not, not the best, but you know, it's a lot better than the previous ones. It was different. A little more on the tactical side, I'd say. Definitely a step up, in my opinion. And actually, I heard that they actually gave this one a little more time like in the oven because if i remember correctly like they basically drop a call of duty almost every year and that's why they kind of felt samey so yeah i really liked modern warfare but when cold war came out they lost me because it was just like a step backwards. The game was freaking like broken and uh, same old, same old, huh? Like, to be honest, the only thing that I kind of like really wanted was just the zombie mode and that was it. Like I didn't give a shit about Call of Duty Cold War. It's probably the main reason why I didn't pick it up. And now they're coming out with a brand new one. This one is called Call of Duty Vanguard. It is to be another World War II game. At first with all the leaks coming out, I thought that this was going to be like another Battlefield 5. I was joking around about it on Twitter. But to my surprise, it's actually historically accurate. I mean, the Call of Duty trailer looks a little old over the top, but I mean, it's as accurate as it can get. And that the weird stuff is gonna stick with the zombies, which oh, I'm okay with, it's zombies, so whatever. So I think the thing that really like interests me about the game is that they're saying that this one is going to be a lot like Modern Warfare in terms of like the way that the game is. Like the same people that worked on Modern Warfare were also working on this, and they were actually given some time to really work on it. So it, it's definitely piqued my interest. Now definitely someone who likes World War II and World War One type of games, you know? So it's just another reason for me to really get excited about it. But also, I'm hearing that they're bringing back Trey to do the zombies which i mean i believe that's like their bread and butter if i remember correctly they're honestly the best when it comes to that i think so the zombie mode should be in good hands hopefully so treyarch is focused on the zombies while the people that worked on modern warfare 2019's multiplayer is focused on the multiplayer for this game and that's pretty good but yeah i think i'm more interested in the zombies and the story mode than i am with the multiplayer i'm not someone who plays a whole lot of call of duty multiplayer at least not as much as i used to but playing modern warfare 2019's multiplayer was probably some of the best i played in a while hopefully in this next one the connection make it better than it already was because i'm just sick and tired of playing call of duty multiplayer because it just feels so stale to me now you know been playing call of duty ever since like the first game came out but yeah so hopefully that's good when it comes to the single player i hope that they actually bring back the people who worked on world war ii single player because i thought that that was actually pretty good i just hope that it's not like over the top you know they just do like a lot of michael bay type of stuff where things are exploding and freaking flinging around and stuff because that's just like very unbelievable but then again i guess if that wasn't in the game then it probably wouldn't be like a call of duty type again because i mean call of duty is just always like over the top stuff so i guess it wouldn't be a call of duty if they didn't have that stuff but i mean i don't know at least the engine looks pretty good and uh yeah i mean it, it's this call of duty is shaping up to be like a pretty well-rounded call of duty Here's why I'm probably not gonna buy it. Like I said before, I'm just sick and tired of Call of Duty. The multiplayer doesn't even sell me anymore because it just honestly feels stale to me. Like even the newer Call of Duty, I did like that multiplayer better, but it just, I'm just really done with it to be honest. And when I mean by newer Call of Duty, I mean Modern Warfare 2019 because Cold War was ass. If I'm gonna go back to Call of Duty, it's likely gonna be because of the story and the zombies. If they just sold those two separately, I'd buy those in a heartbeat. But another reason why I don't wanna go back to this Call of Duty is because if there's one thing that I dislike about this so far is that they keep advertising their brand new monetization as if people like this type of stuff. Oh boy, I can't wait until that comes out. Oh my god, I can't wait. Let's see how they screw up the game just to get a buck out of you. What the hell kind of gun is that? Looks like a freaking Nerf gun. It's Nerf or nothing. So obviously I don't like the monetization system, but that's not the only reason why I'm not gonna get it. Here's another reason. Another reason is the last two Call of Duty took up so much goddamn space on my freaking computer. It's like, why does doesn't need that much space it's not even that big of a game the space that it's taking up is so ridiculous like they need to free like for a triple a studio that shouldn't be a freaking thing they need to condense that sh down i actually think i saw a leaked image on twitter of how much the space is gonna take up for the next one and i think it was like a little over 300 gigs like holy sh you gotta be kidding me Fuck that. You must be out your goddamn mind. You must be out your goddamn mind. They better condense that shit down, because I ain't having that. But I think one of the biggest reasons as to why I'm not going to get this game is because of all the things that happened outside of this company's control. Or maybe not out of their control, for all I know. Yeah, I don't want to support a studio that treats women like shit or is associated with people that are, you know, doing that sort of thing. I can't in good conscience support that type of behavior, so I will not buy this game. I read 
read what happened, and I am not pleased with what I've read. So as much as I was kind of interested in this Call of Duty, I think I'm gonna hold off here. Just until either people get arrested or things start to die down or whatever. I mean, it's not like I was in a rush to get Call of Duty to begin with, because I mean, there's like a bunch of other games like, you know, Battlefield 2042 and Halo Infinite coming out, plus a bunch of other indie games that keep me occupied, you know? So it's not like I was like wanting to play Call of Duty to begin with. So yeah, I mean, I know this video is not gonna have a big impact. I'm pretty sure a game like Call of Duty is still gonna get a shit ton of freaking people buying it because it's just such a cult following at this point. So it really doesn't matter what I say, you know, the game's still gonna do pretty well. I mean, maybe not as good as what Modern Warfare is gonna be, but it's definitely gonna be up there. So yeah, I just thought I'd make the video because I could, just to get my thoughts out there, you know, while it was fresh in my mind. And I just have like so many freaking videos that I need to do. I'm just like running down the list at this point. So uh, yeah. What are your thoughts? Are you someone that's gonna get Call of Duty? Call of Booty? Are you excited? I mean, I feel like a lot of my viewers aren't gonna be that excited, but I'm sure there's gonna be a bunch of people who play Call of Duty religiously that are just like divided. Either they like Modern Warfare or they like Cold War. Those two are like basically different games, so I mean. Yeah, but I think the interesting thing about this is that if you actually look at the Call of Duty Vanguard trailers, you'll notice that Activision's name is like being hidden. And the only ones that you like really see is like Treyarch and the other companies that worked on the game, which I find very interesting. Like you don't see Activision's name like anywhere really. And news just came out that freaking Activision has apparently been shredding documents in the investigation and it's like, oh boy, whoo, that's not good. So is there some truth to this investigation? I mean, why would they hide Activision's name? Is it just because it's been tainted or is it because a lot of the stuff that happened is true? I mean, if it is, that's freaking nuts. Obviously, I'm making a lot of assumptions. We won't actually know anything until, you know, court cases come out and stuff like that, but I'm definitely not going to touch anything Call of Duty related until everything is solved and people are brought to justice and all that. So, uh, yeah. Kind of sus, because this one actually looked like a well-rounded Call of Duty. Like, there's actually, like, a lot of people working on it that are really good at doing this particular thing, you know? Like, it's interesting because the whole debacle happened and now they're actually making it what looks like a good Call of Duty. Is it like a oh, we're sorry. How else do you want us to say we're sorry? Oh, I know will actually make a good game for once. I mean, with them like scraping off Activision's name just to, you know, try to sell this game. That's what it feels like, to be honest. But I don't know. Maybe I'm just reading too much into it. What are your guys' thoughts? Are you going to get this game? If you do, why don't you let me know how it is? Like, again, I'm interested, but I don't think I'm going to get it just because of the stuff that's going on in the background, you know? But I'm sure there's still going to be a lot of people who buy this game because, you know, it has such a cult following. I don't think my video is going to have an impact at all, if I'm being honest. But uh, yeah, that's where I'm going to end the video. If you enjoy the fact that I covered games like Call of Duty, then be sure to like up the video, share the video, and comment down below. If you're someone that would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon or click on the join button that's down below. Any donation helps. If you're someone that's new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and ding that bell so that you can get more of my content and keep up to date with everything that I post. With that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.